Let me also underscore that. By the way, my name is Buki Shonoga. For people, that, for those of you that don't doesn't, don't know me, right? So I want to underscore that. On, on a serious note, all we have as diaspora Nigerians or Nigerians, not diaspora Nigerians, that have lived us in Nigeria for decades, all we have is a love for our country that we really want to give back. We love that country. We want to be able to go home. And, and, and be safe. So in that sentiment is why we're here today because we want to support whatever happens in Nigeria going forward. So that's why we're here today to talk to our friends and you know colleagues. So I'm gonna again defer back to um, my brother Ora Meli to talk to comment on the election tomorrow. After twenty fifteen, what happens? It doesn't matter what it can the, the issue is not about whether it's Jonathan or Buhari. It's a very sad note that we continue to recycle but not the old people in terms of age, but old people in terms of ideas in Nigeria. It's a new day tomorrow morning. So what happens after 2015, Oji? I mean, sorry, Aura. Yeah, having said, thank you very much, Buki. Uh, having said that, uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to uh, give my uh, perspective on the issues pertaining to our beloved soil, uh, Nigeria. Uh, like you said, um, Regurgitating things in the past. Um, listen, if we uh, allow such individuals like Mr. Buhari to run for presidency and to become the president, I think that that's kind of like um, a slap on the face for most Nigerians. Because Buhari, although he was ousted in, in his government, has had an opportunity to contribute to the country. And although some people may consider his contributions positive, uh, some people may consider, uh, consider his contributions negative, uh, he has had an opportunity to make his contributions by force. He took over the government to make, to make such things happen. And now he's aged 73. Uh, while there have been leaders in many nations that are 73, that is probably not the optimal age, especially for a sick country such as Nigeria. A sick country such as Nigeria requires somebody that's really strong and uh, old enough to know better and young enough to affect and to understand the current, current times and you know, te technology is a big deal today.